Yeah. You guys sure you don't need my help? We'll call out for you, don't you fret. We feel safer in that way here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you that, me this is a boy or girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. Okay. I was nervous. I screamed. You screamed? Did you scream for me? I heard it. No, um, when they were trying to put the needle on. Did you hear I just jumped. And then I pushed it out. I was very nervous. Tell your story. So I was like, I was really nervous. I was like, hey, I gotta get this together. I just feel a little pressure on my chest. Okay, yeah. Yeah, when they work down there, you're not going to feel Uh-huh. Okay. How are you feeling? Is he or anything like that? No, I'm not. Yeah. Trying to stay calm. You know, you're running your truck store. My arm just feels right here. Oh, do you have a little tingling in your fingers already? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, obviously, all this goes away. Okay. You're fine. It's okay. It's okay. Hello. Hello. It's nice. You know, so you, 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 you work in your anxiety, you know, that's why you can't be there, that's why I think about it. Yeah. Yeah. You work in yourself, but don't do that. That's the worst thing you can do. Oh. Oh. You got it, you got it, it's okay. Oh. You're doing great, you're doing great, you're doing great, you're doing great. You're doing great, you're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing fantastic. Baby! Can you see? Baby! I know it's a difficult angle here, but can you see a little? Yes. Oh my Baby! Oh, he looks just like me. <laughs> Baby! So hey, buddy! It was so little. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to keep crying, my friend. This is all the good stuff happening. He says, I'm as, I'm as tough as nails. I don't want to cry. Oh. <laughs> it's cute. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he definitely has your nose. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of hair. Whole lot plug. Look up, Marlon. Say cheese. So, we are the book. Wait, it's not a matter of we are. Baby boy is finally here after a good hour of hard labor. It wasn't hard labor. Yeah, it was for me because this is my first C section I've ever done. Um, it was very successful. Um, my hands are very gifted. How you feel? I guess I should update you guys. How you feel, mommy? So I'm really tired. I'm really exhausted. Um, I'm itchy, and I think that's just from. That's because she didn't bathe in like three months. No, I think that's just from after the anesthesia. Like the symptoms, it's really itchy. Um, I'm I'm exhausted. Been trying to eat. So we after, cause last time you seen us we was in the operating room. So after that, we went to the recovery room for about what two, three hours. Mm -hmm. Two, three hours, and then we came to our actual room. We didn't vlog anything because uh, Ron stepped out to go home to pack our bags and get the kids' bags. I was in super dad mode. Yeah, and um, I was, of course, here, but I tried to get some rest and feed the baby. Then Ron came back, then he ate, 
and then we both kind of got some rest and now it's like 4 30. 5 30. oh is it 5 mm -hmm. wow so yeah, it's 5 30 so we had him exactly like five this morning 507 yeah five this morning and then yeah so day one is just recovery and just trying to just i don't know get into the groove of things hopefully tomorrow will be a much better day so we'll keep you guys updated and um we're happy to share our journey with you with our last baby yeah and like i said my final successful c-section he's sleep right now too yep so We'll see you guys a little bit later. Hey guys. So this is day two. I'm just going to give you guys an update. It's not really a positive update. Um, the fact that this is my fourth C-section. All three have been kind of like similar in a way. But this one is just completely different with the recovery stage. Um, so... As you know, when you have a C-section, you have epidural, you have to have a catheter put inside you. So they took the catheter out last night and um, they wanted to make sure I can, I can pee on my own. Um, for some reason, I could not pee last night. And um, I like sat on the toilet for like 10 minutes trying to see if something was gonna come and nothing came. So they put um, a catheter back in around, I wanna say like three in the morning. And I immediately released urine. Um, so they took it out and said we'll try it again tomorrow. Well, the next, like in a couple hours. So I want to say around 8 o'clock this morning because it's now guys, um, it's 11.04. So around 8 this morning, I felt like I had the urge to go pee. Like, you know, when you really have to go really, really bad. That's how I was feeling. And um, I had the urge to go to the bathroom. But, you know, keeping all that, that urine in is going to mess up, mess with my uterus and my stitching and now it's extremely painful because I do have to pee and um it's just extremely painful now so I go to the bathroom thinking I gotta go guys nothing came out so it's like literally annoying that I have this feeling to go to the bathroom to pee really really bad and nothing's coming out and that's how I am now. Like I'm just laying in the bed, feeling like I have to pee, but nothing's come out. So I tried twice. I just got back in the bed. My nurse helped me get back in the bed, but literally tried twice, like around 10 and then not too long ago and nothing guys. So now they're going to put a long-term catheter um, probably to last maybe 12 hours this time. Um, they don't want to keep putting it in and it out because they don't want to risk me getting an infection. I don't want that either. But if I don't get this pee out, it's going to cause even more problems. So, guys, uh, I'm just, I'm everything. I'm tired. I don't get any sleep. I'm tired. I gotta pee <laughs> and I can't. I'm in pain. I'm going through it. But, and I'm having issues with breastfeeding. So, it's not fun, but I'm trying to keep my mental health in good standing. So, um, I just wanted to update you guys. Ron is, um, went to go get a car seat because we realized we don't have a car seat. His Percy's in his car and he doesn't have his car at all here. Baby is asleep. He just had his hearing test and he passed, so I'm glad. So, um, yeah, we're just trying to chill. I'm trying to get as much rest as I can, but they keep coming in here. But hopefully I can get some type of sleep because I look so tired. So Ron is back. 
I'm hungry. He's grabbing. Me, me. This man been eating good, y'all, since we've been here. And he been sleeping good. No, I haven't. He been sleeping like a baby. No, I haven't. Meanwhile, they been waking me up. Me to feed baby. Go to the bathroom. I've been suffering. Well, if I had breast milk, if I had breast milk, we milk. I worked hard. I'm the one that delivered that baby. Bad. If I had breast milk, I'll feed him. But, I mean, nothing will come out if he starts sucking my nipple. And they're kind of hairy. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think he liked that. Mm -hmm. Ron went to go. Uh, so they, they took the baby to, to get him circumcised. And, of course, Ron wanted to go look at it and watch it. I never want to watch it. I had to hear Jakai, but I didn't want to watch Josiah, and I'm not watching the babies either. So, while I went and picked up some lunch, I decided I didn't want to eat the hospital food, so I got me a cheesesteak. That's not what you called it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where I'm from, we call it a steak and cheese sandwich. I don't know what you call it, man. <laughs> where I'm from, we call it a steak and cheese sandwich. And... You'll never ever say it to me again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Let me put this up so I can eat. It's so good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Y'all, we're not really doing nothing, you know. They, the baby's passing all his tests. He passed his hearing test. They gave him a hearing test. So he passed the hearing test, good. And um, I mean, he's good. You know, I'm the one with the issues. <laughs> so I'll keep you guys updated on, you know, how this, using the bathroom situation is going to go with me. Let's hope when they take the catheter out, maybe in the next 12 hours, I can go to the bathroom on my own. Yes, and it was so painful. Mm. Oh my gosh. No, it's tough to get around, huh? Putting that catheter in. You know, I've been numb every time they put it in. But when they put it in last night, it hurt, but it was like real quick. For some reason this time, she said she got a bigger thing so i guess it was too big for me or whatever and it took her like a minute to like do it like she did do it twice it was oh i don't want that thing put in no more but i've been peeing all right guys i'm gonna go eat my lunch and try to get some sleep because i have not slept hey guys so this is day three and um I got here Sunday. Hmm. Yesterday, day. yeah. Today's day three. Well, it's the end of day three. It's um, almost five o'clock, and um, um, actually around this time, I'm actually feeling a lot better. I am now letting gas loose. Sorry if it's too much information. Um, I'm also going to the bathroom on my own but I'm still in a lot of pain. So um, I wanted to record while I was still good, while the pain, pain meds kicked in. I just finished um, feeding the baby and um, he's asleep right now. So me and Ron are just trying to decide what we're eating. I think we're gonna go with red lobster because we're not gonna eat this hospital food. Yeah, some want rice and a Caesar salad. So, um, yeah, um, that's the update. They gave us the okay for the baby to um, be discharged. So we're just waiting for me. I'm pretty sure I can get discharged to go home tomorrow. So I'm excited to get out of here, take a nice shower, and just relax in the house, see the kids. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't get any sleep. <laughs> but that's expected when you're at the hospital. So, um, that's pretty much the update there. And let me tell you guys, Ron has been so great and helpful. He's been supportive, which he should be. Because if he's not, you guys better get on him. <laughs> but he's been supportive and... Um, that makes me happy, you know, even though he didn't go through all of the, um, yes, I did. I feel like I did. <laughs> all that I went through, um, he has to make sure mentally he's okay. So he's good. We're good. Baby's good. We're just ready to go home. So 
All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. Yes, today is the day we are leaving to go home. I'm really excited to go home. I'm ready to get up out of this hospital, take a nice long shower, um, get in the bed, see the babies, cause we haven't seen them. I miss my lady girl. Yeah, Ron is changing the baby. So, yeah, we can ready to go home. I cannot wait to get the reaction of the baby, what they think of the baby. So that's gonna be fun <laughs> to see what they think. But yeah, so I'm going to get dressed and we're gonna be heading home. All right guys, so we are getting ready to leave the hospital. As you can see, we are all dressed. Ron's trying to gather everything now. Being the great dad he is being. <laughs> don't mind if you guys see the baby's hat. Don't mind. We actually have hats. I don't know why the hospital likes to um, have pink hats for boys. Come on. Come on. I learned it all because I've seen it all. You know what I'm saying? So, for girls, they got the hats. They got like a little bow in the front like this. <laughs> yeah. For, for the boys, they got a little green ball at the top. Yeah, where's the one with the green ball? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I think it's... So, like again, this was unexpected, so we didn't really get um, everything. Everything about this baby was unexpected. We didn't get everything <laughs> that we needed. I mean, we, I had his clothes, as you guys seen um, with the, um, if you guys watched what's in my hospital bag, you see that I already packed that, but I still needed a few more things to pack in the bag. And I didn't pack hat, so um, we have to just go home with the hospital hat. So, on, so how do you one. feel now that the baby's here? It's my man. So I got three and a princess. We well, have four kids now. Who I love dearly. Do you think we'll make the adjustment well? Yeah, no problem. You know who I am? Hercules. You know what I'm saying? Hercules always figures it out. <laughs> guys, I, didn't, I never gave you guys a tour. So let me give you guys a tour of, of our little room. room. Yes. Oh, if I can. Okay. If you can get up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. This is the bathroom area where I've been, you know, got a toilet and a shower in there. Then, hey, <laughs> I look so fat. Ew. <laughs> and then we're gonna come in and here is my bed. Guys, my bed's been moving. It moves on its own. I don't know if it's like a massage or what. It has a massager on it, but I don't know. And as you see, my hair dyed the pillows. Per usual. <laughs> you gotta have red blankets and stuff. Yeah, but I dyed my hair in December, so I don't know why it does that. Um, they had a breast pump here because I was, I had to take some of this milk out of my boobs, so I was breastfeeding. Oh, you know those containers on there? Huh? Like little small storage containers. Did you want to take that? We taking everything, y'all. Everything. You said what? On the breast pumps. What you On the bottom. The storage containers. Look, take it out. And then we got a nice size TV. Y'all, we've been watching this station, Food Network, um, Bravo, E, the whole time here. You want to drink it? Baby I need to take a shot. No, thanks. Baby is sleeping. Baby is sleeping. And I mean, this is pretty much it. It's not really a, a, a big room or anything. It's a car seat. It's not really a big, huge room. This is pretty much it. This, yeah. So, this is where we've been staying for the past four days. The doctor that's been doing delivering all my babies C section. We told her it's gonna be like the last one and she's delivered all four, so uh, it's bittersweet because it's like, dang, I'm really not gonna be here. She's like, well, you know, you might, you know, you might be back for you or for somebody else. Ron is like, no, we're not coming back for us. <laughs> so it's kind of sad, like, 
you know, when it's like the last baby, all this pregnancy treatment and everything will be kind of gone, but it's okay, you know. I hope other moms experience this. It's a great experience. Um, just want healthy delivery for our baby and other moms as well. Um, as you guys know, like I had a bit rough three days here, but I'm slowly getting back to moving actually. So now it's gonna go home, reunite with the other babies and trying to just continue to recover. And yeah, so I'm glad you guys came along with us to see how our journey has been. Um, yeah, we're leaving, Ron. We're out of here. We're out. And I won't be back. <laughs> That's what he thinks. That's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm back home, guys. And it feels so good to be in my bed. I'm just in a lot of pain, but I'm just trying to relax myself. Um, Ron went to go and get the kids. They've been over my mom's house, and um, which I'm truly blessed because that um, I'm truly blessed that my mom has been able to um, watch them for the past four days while me and Ron have been in the hospital. So um, I know they've been taken great care of. So. We just miss them, they miss us, so I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to actually get the reactions of the baby. Um, we're definitely going to record the reaction, so be on the lookout for that video. And um, yeah, I'm excited and I'm just, you know, we have four kids now. I'm truly blessed and um, I'm excited to share our kids with you all. You guys can see them all grow up. I'm excited for this new adventure for my family. If you guys are new to our channel, hey guys, this is Ronnie and family. We are the joiners. We are now a family of six, three boys, one girl. We're happy that you guys found us. And for those that have been sticking with us, we're so glad that you're still here with us. And thank you to everybody that has congratulated us with the new baby. So we're excited and we cannot wait to see you guys in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video. Please like this video guys. Give this video a great big thumbs up and please comment down below. Talk to us, we will talk back. <laughs> we'll comment back, but yes, we um, appreciate all the love that you guys have shown us. So. Alright guys, we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!